Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and in this video, we are going to be doing a challenge that I never actually thought we were going to be able to do in this game. So, on the right, we have Whistlin' Diesel's GMC on wagon wheels, and on the left, we have his Any Level Ford on spike wheels. Now, there's a lot going on here between both of these trucks, and what's crazy is the Ford, the Any Level, I have not driven it in probably, I don't even remember how long. It was one of the earliest, like, wacky, crazy mods that we got in SnowRunner. But ever since then, there have been a lot of trucks that we've been driving on the channel, and we haven't really gotten a chance to revisit that truck. So it's really cool for me to be able to revisit a truck that we actually drove a lot back towards the start of the game. Now, I know that there's been a lot of progression in truck tuning and truck development ever since that truck has been around. And so I'm sure that there's going to be a couple of differences in terms of how they drive, but I'm really curious to see which one ends up actually making it further, and if they both make it, which one ends up doing a better job? Basically, we have the question of, is it going to be wagon wheels, or is it going to be spike wheels? Now, the wagon wheels, admittedly, are definitely a little weird, and you have, like, spacers on spacers on spacers, so I'm sure that's not really helping our wheel bearings at all, but it's SnowRunner. We're not really worried about wheel bearings here. Now, in terms of the spiked boy, this thing is, well... They have all the grip. They literally have stupid levels of grip. And so that may help us out as well, especially on the rocks. The only part about the truck night course that really worries me with the wagon wheels is the rocks. And so I'm probably going to have to have a strategy of just send it through the rocks as quickly as I possibly can. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and get down to the race and see what these things can do. And not even race, more just like let's call it a test, because it's definitely more of a test than a race. So let's fire up the, well, you know what? Since it's been so long since we've driven to any level, we're gonna go ahead and fire it up and see what it can do. I don't even remember the last time I drove it, much less remember the last time I drove it here. I don't even know, I, I, I'm, I'm sure I drove it here at one point, but dude, I don't remember when that was. So three, two, one, go! Not a bad launch. Oh my god. Alright, we're sending it. Come on. Oh! Oh god. Alright. Well, we get one chance to winch it over. We get one chance to winch it over. As you guys know with our truck night challenges, we get one chance to winch the truck back onto its wheels. And it seems as though our send did not go as planned. Normally when I send it into that first mud pit, my goal is to be able to kind of skim across the top of it with the truck. Didn't really happen that time. Didn't really come even close to happening. So we seem to be able to get a little bit of grip after getting out of the deep stuff, though. God, the truck has some weird driving behavior on these, like, on these spiked wheels, though. Come on. Wow, it did not get a chance to even remotely build up any form of run-up before getting to the top of the hill. And I'm actually struggling with these rocks here as well. Oop, did not mean to do that. I disconnected it immediately after I connected it, so I'm gonna say that's fair. I know I only allow these trucks one winch, but right when I connected it, I immediately disconnected it again. So let's see if we can make it just a little bit further down the hill now. And up and over, not bad. And for this comparison, we are definitely going to have these trucks towing one of the 1500s. So we're gonna go ahead and back up towards the 1500. And... Go ahead and get stopped, and... Oh, throw it in high, and... Yep, you're coming with me. Come on. It's... Oh, no, 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 no. It's definitely not able to actually pull itself, for sure, in high. I think we just didn't give it enough momentum. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Find some grip. Dude, this thing is having a much harder time with Truck Knight than I thought it was going to have. Genuinely. I'm sure it's all due to, like... Uh, progression in truck development and mod development over time, but geez, I'm used to just flying through this stuff in most trucks. Come on, 1500, let's go! Dude, that truck is really holding us back right now. Like, really, really, really holding us back. Come on! Man, it is really having a tough time with these rocks. The spiked wheels really dislike the rocks. I mean, they dislike them bad. There we go. Dropping it in. Just finding a little bit of grip. Okay, now go, 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 go. I'm gonna let it go. I'm just gonna leave it right there. 
All right, let's see how far over the pond we can make it because, oh, I did not want to have to deal with the pond in this thing. I already knew how the mud went, and so I really was not in the mood to deal with the pond. This part's going to be wacky. Okay, yep, got the bumper stuck right off the bat. Oh, that was not the best way to go about doing that. Maybe a little bit more or not. Like, bruh, maybe a little bit more or not. Let's see if we can find some traction on the side. I almost said sidewall, but there's really no sidewall when your wheels are made out of metal spikes, is there? Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm caught in a very awkward place right now. There we go. There we go. Finding a little bit of grip where I can. I just want to be able to make it up and over these rocks and end up at that finish line. Let's go. I'm not messing around with those other rocks. I don't feel like it's a good idea, especially with some of the things we've seen this truck do already. All right. I think this thing deserves the easy bridge. After the run it's had, I definitely think it deserves the easy bridge. I don't know about y'all, but I definitely think it does. All right. Full send. Full send. Oh, well, but I've already used up my single winch attempt. No. I was going to full send it over these logs, but I feel like making the choice to not full send it over the logs was probably a good idea. All right. Throw it into high. Oh, no. If I don't chill out now, I'm going to go ahead and actually flip it over again on these whoops. That suspension is not super happy about what we're doing on the whoops for sure. And across the line in the any level now let's go ahead and park this guy right there and go back to the start line and grab the gmc on the wagon wheels so let's fire this thing up and see what it can do now really there's only one gearbox option and the the gearbox option that we have and i'll go ahead and verify that there's only one gearbox option real quick but the gearbox option yeah gearbox and engine single that's it now, granted, there is a no suspension damage option, but I'm going to leave it as a damageable suspension because the other truck had a damageable suspension as well, I do believe. Let me go ahead and actually check and see how much damage that suspension actually got. Not much, so I don't think we're going to have to really worry about it. But we're going to go ahead and get this thing into position. And let's go ahead and put it in neutral. Build a little bit of boost and drop it. Let's go. Well, that sends it. I'm going to try not to flip over in the very first part here. Oh, no. All right. We've started to dig into the mud. Oh, it's not making it's not making much progress. Actually, it's making more progress than I thought it was going to make. Come on. I don't know how those wagon wheels are finding any grip right now, but somehow or another they are. I don't know how I haven't broken a spacer yet, but honestly, with these wooden wagon wheels, I would probably break a wheel long before I'd break a spacer. Ooh, that was actually a really smooth landing. Much smoother than I thought it was going to be. All right, up and over the downhill part now. Going to pull up next to this 1500 and be like, Hey, bud, you are coming with me. And hook the winch and throw it in high. There we go. Holy crap. Dude, if you get the timing right, it will do almost all of that mud pit in high with... Well, actually, with the 1500 behind it. The problem is now we're caught on a rock. Completely caught on a rock. Hold on. Easy does it. Just trying to work the wheel, see if I can get myself back off of the rock again. Okay, I got myself off the rock. Now, I'm going to try and get whatever extra bit of grip that I can. Do not hit that jump sideways. Ooh, that's not going to end well. Wow, that ended a lot better than I thought it was going to end. Whew, okay. Okay. If I could just find one little tiny piece of grip. That's all I need. That's all I need right now. That's literally all I need. Should I use my one winch? I haven't used it yet. So I'm, I'm really like excited about the fact that I've saved my one chance to winch. And I've kind of saved it up. You know what I mean? So as long as I've saved it up, I'll be able to find a suitable place to use it in ooh, a little bit later on. This was definitely a better line choice, and I think that the any level would have benefited by taking the line on the right as opposed to the line on the left. But this doesn't really have all that much flex, so you got to plan for that ahead of time. Took the more rocky line with this one, but somehow these wooden wagon wheels are finding the grip that they need. And you know what? May or may not have jinxed that one. Oh, I can't even pop up that. Whoa! Okay, we're going to have to go around those rocks because that really seized us up. Hold on. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
I am stuck on the rear axle. Yep, big time stuck on the rear axle. Uh, this is bad. I'm gonna have to use my one winch opportunity to get out of here. Alright, now that we're out of here, we've used up our one chance to do that. So we better not mess it up again. We better not get ourselves into a sketchy predicament again. Because if we get ourselves into a sketchy predicament, bleh, predicament again, that would not be good. That would not be good at all. Oh, charged up that hill. Oh, no. Are you telling me that that's going to be where this thing ends? No. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Dude, we're going to have to jump it. That's going to be the only way to get over it. We're going to have to jump it. Be careful. There you go. Okay. As long as we're careful, we're going to be able to jump that. We're going to have to be careful on the logs now. I was, I was hoping that I wouldn't have to use my single winch attempt so then I could send it over the logs. But now I'm going to have to be careful over the logs because I used my single winch attempt back there. Ooh, that was not exactly all that close to the realm of what I would call being careful. But, uh, uh-oh. Oh my god, no! Dude! This is not where it ends. Oh, don't let this be where it ends. Oh, no. Yo, okay. Well, I think we found our answer. I think we found our answer. The spiked wheels on the any level definitely, definitely beat out the wagon wheels on the GMC at truck night. So let me know all your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Let me know which one of these uh, ridiculous projects you would end up with in your garage. And if you enjoyed the video and want to see more or have any suggestions or thoughts or opinions, again, like I said before, leave them all in the comment section down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time.